a village. One day, while Mary was praying, a bright light filled the room. She looked up in wonder to see an angel standing before her. The angel, whose name was Gabriel, spoke, and Mary quietly listened to his words. Do not be frightened. You are to be the mother of God. You will receive a baby from the Holy Spirit. When the little one is born, you will name him Jesus. That means God saves. For the child you bear will save all people from their sins. Your child is the Son of God. He is sent by God to show people how to live good and holy lives. Those who follow his ways and believe in him will become children of God on earth and will be with him in heaven. Mary accepted with great joy the great honor God had given her. Then the angel Gabriel left her with this wonderful secret. Only one other shared Mary's secret, Joseph, the man who was to be her husband. One night, while Joseph slept, the angel Gabriel visited him. Joseph, you have been chosen by God the Father for a special work. God the Son is to become man. The Savior of all people is to be born a little baby. Mary will be his mother because she is the purest and holiest one in all the world. You are to be his father, which means that you are to protect and take care of the baby and his holy mother. Joseph awoke to find the angel gone. He went at once to the Blessed Virgin to guard and protect her. Together, Joseph and Mary waited for the birthday of our Lord. It was a custom in those days for the people to be counted for taxation. They went to their hometowns to have their names written in a large book. The ruler, Caesar Augustus, wished to tax his people, so he ordered them to all to be counted. Although it was almost time for the baby Jesus to be born, Joseph and Mary obeyed the law and set out from their little house in Nazareth to Bethlehem. Bethlehem was the hometown of Joseph and Mary's tribe, so they began the journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Mary traveled on a little donkey, and Joseph walked beside her. He guided the animal and made the rough journey as comfortable as he could for the Blessed Virgin. Far away in the east, three kings learned the news. These three kinds were men of wisdom and knowledge. They were called the Magi, or wise men. They knew that someday the greatest king of all times would be born. They also knew that when his birth took place, a new and brilliant star would appear in the sky. That night they saw a star they had never seen before. They traveled across the hot, sandy deserts and over high, rugged mountains following the star. They took gifts for the, for the newborn king, following the brightness of the star until it shone down upon the stable in Bethlehem. They entered and saw the shepherds and animals gathered about the Holy Family. They gave baby Jesus their gifts of beautiful gold, sweet-smelling incense, and rare perfume. These men of power now knelt in the stable beside the poor shepherds. The shepherds had brought gifts too. They brought their little lambs. So both shepherds and kings gave up their most prized possessions. And each one of them offered with his gift, his complete love and devotion. Those were the first Christmas presents. That night was the first Christmas. So now you know why we give gifts to celebrate Christmas. We show our love as God with Jesus showed his love for us. On Christmas Day, besides the gifts you give to mom and dad, your sisters, brothers, and friends to make them glad, do not forget the holy child who in the manger lay. Your gift can be remembering that this is his birth.
Cake Ham. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, thank you so much for our 